billionaires pretty successful people i mean it looks like they have the shit together and i really don't so i thought why not eat and work out like the wealthiest people alive for a week and maybe i can learn a few healthy tips and tricks from these super productive people so starting off with the one and only oprah winfrey she's television's highest paid entertainer and her motivational quotes really make me rethink my life <laughs> you know i'm really seeing a trend here with super successful people and meditation maybe that's the secret to success oprah says starting her morning with 20 minutes of meditation fills her with hope a sense of contentment and a deep joy which you know if i had her money i would probably be filled with those things too but anyways this is just a reminder for those of you who are feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now as oprah says breathe let go and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure i'm really bad at this that's enough for today <laughs> So Oprah says she likes to do 15 minutes of jogging, elliptical, or like walking the stairs. So let's go walk the stairs. Oprah swears at least 15 minutes of exercise improves her productivity and boosts energy levels. Guys, Oprah is kind of a beast. She works out a lot. It's actually quite scary. It's never ending. She has her cardio days and then she has strength training days four to five times a week, 30 to 40 minutes after her aggressive stair walks. I mean, we love a strong, successful, confident woman. Oprah said, you don't become what you want. You become what you believe. And I believe I'm strong and beautiful and capable and smart. And I think that's a really good way to start off the day just by believing in you because you can do it. And you will. And I also believe I am quite ravenous from all those stairs, so on to breakfast. Oprah says that she always eats meals full of complex carbs, fiber, and protein, so a breakfast for Oprah looks like a tiny, tiny bowl of sad, sad oatmeal. How is it I'm actually doing? With no peanut butter, unfortunately. This is the saddest bowl of oatmeal ever. Cheated a little bit and added protein powder. Mm. Oh, the walnuts are good. Nutty. Mmm, very good. I wish there was more. It's been like 10 minutes and I'm just like starving. Okay, so we have a much needed snack and I'm loving that Oprah and I, while she might be a billion dollars richer than me, we still enjoy the same food combinations. Very hungry. Breakfast was not real. See guys, even billionaires love a good PB and apple oh, combo. I kind of burnt it. Oh, it is so good. The mayo. That's bomb. Yeah. And then Oprah works out again. This woman must just bring around stairs with her throughout the day. Like this is a lot of stairs, but she does a 20 minute cardio workout along with some ab workouts to give her a chance to reflect on her progress towards her goals. And to be honest, with sitting on my butt the entire day, it feels really nice just 10 to 20 minutes of light movement in the evening to get my blood pumping and a moment to just pat myself on the back for all the things that I've accomplished that day. For dinner, we created one of Oprah's sad pasta recipes that was just lacking all aspects of what makes pasta pasta. Yep. <laughs> okay, so my mom puts all the chickpea pasta in the protein. So now all of the pasta tastes like vanilla protein powder. Like a sweet vanilla protein powder pasta. Always in forever. Try the vanilla protein pasta. It's still pretty good. Oprah says, you can have it all, just not all at once. And while she's probably talking about life, she definitely meant chocolate as well. I didn't have the whole bar all at once, but to be honest, I did eat the entire bar today, which you know is totally fine. Oprah doesn't eat this. And I seriously felt some strong girl power radiating from Oprah in her routine. So my fellow women, remember, when you undervalue what you do, the world will undervalue who you are. So be unapologetically proud and loud in you. And I think Oprah would approve of that statement. In my opinion, I think Facebook is one of the dying social media platforms of my generation. <laughs> But Mark Zuckerberg, inventor of Facebook, is so dedicated to his platform, he still checks his Facebook every morning, and he's made too many billions of dollars from that dedication, so respect. From watching The Social Network, a movie about the birth of Facebook, taught me Mr. Mark is quite awkward and a genius and likes Asian women, and I'm also quite awkward, not a genius, but am Asian, so we're on the right track. I'm over the moon, I'm loving this view, not thinking about you. 
sun or the moon, no one can tell. It was a part of Mark's morning routine, and he goes for a run three times a week, and he says staying in shape is very important. Doing anything well requires energy, and you just have a lot more energy when you're fit. And I really resonate with his simple and honest view of exercise. It's not about the muscles or the calories burned. It comes down to the health and lifestyle benefits exercise gives us. When we find ways to implement a healthy amount of movement, no matter what it is, in this case for Mark, it's running with his mop-like dog, it gives him energy, and it makes him feel good and more productive, and that's something more of us should focus on. Working out for our bodies so our bodies can help us live our lives to the fullest. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Are we witnessing the Oh okay, cheers. Oh, okay, mm. That's really good. Mm. Oh, it's gold on it. Oh, it is Earl Grey. Matcha. Mm. Oh. While Mark has had a period of time where he only ate meat from the animals he killed himself, yup, uh, Mark says he eats whatever he likes and whatever he wants. Oh. And as simple and normal and straightforward as that sounds, it's seriously not simple and normal anymore these days, which is sad to say and sad to see. You know, I sometimes wish he looked up to successful people outside the fitness industry when it comes to their relationship with diet and exercise because they're usually a lot healthier than those in the fitness industry. Mm. Oh, cute! Thank you! Yay! Redeeming myself. They're better, I swear. Oh, their heart! I'm really excited! Oh. Hard, On a side note, my challenge to myself recently has been trying to do a headstand. This is my first day trying and I'm just the least balanced person ever, but we aren't giving up. Also, I'm wearing Gymshark's new Adapt Marl collection that has just come out and the new colors are so beautiful. They really motivate me to get up and get moving, so you can totally shop the new collection with my link in the description and challenge your body to do something new today along with me. I really like living like Mark because other than the fact that he's really rich, he leads a pretty normal life and laughs about how ugly his dumplings are and tries to stay healthy whenever he can and that's pretty inspiring. <laughs> My life is over 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 my life Thank you. Everyone, no matter how much money or fame or how old we are, we all need to eat. We eat different things, we lead different lives, but there's a diet and lifestyle for everyone. These billionaires, they don't make fitness and food their entire lives, and that's probably because they have bigger and more expensive things to worry about, but by not being obsessed with diet and exercise, it gives them the time to do other things in life that brings them happiness, and in their case, a lot of freaking money. <laughs> Today, we are living like the brilliant man who we can blame for our phone addictions. The inventor of Apple died by eating too many apples. That's not actually how he died, but he literally only did eat apples. <laughs> You'd think he'd need a lot of fuel and food to power such a gifted brain, yet he just didn't eat. Steve Jobs followed an extreme fruititarian diet that basically consisted of just fasting for days and then eating the same foods over and over again. No Sounds stay. terrible. He also thought he didn't need to shower or wear deodorant, which is also just weird. Each day, Steve would get up, do all his morning stuff, then look in the mirror and ask if today was the last day of my life. Would I be happy with what I'm about to do today? If the answer was no too many days in a row, he knew something needed to change. Would I brush my teeth? Would I get dressed? Uh. Would I edit a YouTube video? Would I only eat apples and carrots for every meal of the day? While I'm not inspired by Steve Jobs' diet, I am inspired by his mindset. Breakfast time. He lived his life true to what he believed and what he truly wanted to do. By asking yourself if you're happy with who you are and living each day fully is a great way to live. And it's a great way to have control over your own happiness. That's a huge bowl of fruit. Oh, I'm so full. My <laughs> stomach is going to explode. I'm hungry. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm starving. Carrots are my worst enemy. I think they're the worst vegetable out of all the vegetables. Where did you eat Because Steve eats them. Ate them. I kind of always wanted to date Edward Cullen. Press him. Sugar <laughs> 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 is not fruit. 
If you hate what you do every day, then you know you have to change something or your mindset about your life and that should be your priority because it's literally your freaking life. Probably <laughs> oh, the worst acting I've ever seen. <laughs> Oops. Why am I like enjoying this? Instead of looking in the mirror and deciding to hate your body in the morning, I look in the mirror and I say, today I'm going to work towards a better future. I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to thank my body for all of its dips and curves and functions. Live your life in the way that will bring you the most joy. Don't take your life or your happiness lightly. If today was your last day, what will you do? Who would you call? Who wouldn't you call? And what would you tell yourself? The answers to those questions might indicate what you should do next. Taylor's longer is so attractive. Anyways, yeah, my neck is literally just not okay. I'm sorry for all the neck twitches you're going to have to witness in this video. That's a big fart. My favorite store in the world has become Amazon. So big thanks Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon, the second richest man in the world, who does not set an alarm in the morning, which scared me because I thought I just wouldn't wake up the next day because I'm never not setting 40 alarms. But I woke up at like 7 a.m. and it actually felt really good to wake up naturally. Getting eight hours of sleep every night is important to Jeff because it helps him to be as effective as possible at making decisions. I should seriously be taking notes right now because sleep is lacking in my life and I suck at making decisions. Okay, okay. The 56 year old Mr. Jeff also has these huge, massive, muscular biceps, and like my parents are 56 and their biceps are not quite as large as Jeff's, so I'm assuming he's a gym fanatic and enjoys killing his arms, which is probably my least favorite and weakest body part to kill, but you know, it's Jeff's day today, so we had to do it. Jeff says he likes to spend his mornings relaxing, having breakfast with his kids, so he really cherishes his time. So no matter how successful you are, family still comes first. And no matter how hectic life is and how stressed you are with work and managing your billions of dollars, it's still important to take time for yourself and do the things that make you feel like you. Happy banana pancake day! Just admire this. Also, he seems to think he makes good pancakes, but I'd like to challenge Jeff to a pancake competition because I believe I would win. We are making the octopuses. This is kind of gross looking. This is terrible. Oh my, there's just a head. Okay, this is literally horrible. I'm so sorry. What's happening here is I was trying out a technique that I saw for making poached eggs and it failed me quite miserably. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Mm. <laughs> it's terrible. Fuck, I forgot to film it. Shit. Shit. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is really good. Mmm! Lemon. Mm -mm. Wow. It's not too hard. Mmm. It's a good texture. This is a solid meal. Prepping up the octopus is not enjoyable. Eating up the octopus is kind of enjoyable. You wanna eat some cake? Can't believe someone makes like a million crepes and like makes a beautiful cake out of it. And Jeff loves food trucks, and I mean, who doesn't love the greasy, delicious smell of a food truck, you know? And I'm pretty sure quesadillas are a food truck food, and I'm pretty sure I just made the best oh, quesadillas in the entire world. I've never been more excited about anything in my entire life. Like, I'm not trying to brag, but at the same time, mm. I kind of am. I mean, look at this. Mm. I know you want to eat it. It's okay. It's Are okay. you jealous? Do we see this? I do see. Mm. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Gogo is not happy. Start from your lower back. Like, put it you where your lower back is. Okay. <laughs> no, the other, the other side. Your butt has to be on the floor. Oh. <laughs> no, the butt's on the floor. Wait. Yeah. Wait, I can't move on the floor. Your next open up your chest. I eat like Kendall in one video, so I kind of had to eat like Kylie for this one. The youngest self-made billionaire ever. Now, that deserves a round of applause. I mean, she already was insanely rich, but Kylie is iconic. She's Kylie Jenner, and people obviously have mixed opinions about her success and whatever, but I think she's a beast. She's just made the most of the cards she got dealt, which, you know, were some very wealthy cards, but she's built an empire of lip and beauty products. She's an amazing mom, from what I can see, and she takes care of her body and listens to her cravings and tries to be healthy mentally and physically, and with a huge following she has, I'm really happy to see the realistic message she sends about food and exercise. Anyways, Kylie's workout consists of a warm-up, some cardio, strength training. It's pretty basic, but a solid workout. Oh, 
Where's my celery? So obviously we're starting the day off with some celery juice. I would have been surprised, honestly, if we weren't. I've been thinking all about my enemies. Titanic. Holy shit. It is working. Cheers. Oh. It's like nutrition. It's not as bad as... It's actually pretty good. Bye. So Kylie said she drinks like three jugs of bone broth. Is that like normal? I don't know. Ooh, shit. Yeah. This is pretty good. This has like no flavor. Banana pancakes, celery pancakes. To make up for the lost points from the unfortunate drinks I just went through, Kylie said she loves to have banana pancakes for breakfast. And wow. like, if you want to win me over, just tell me you love banana pancakes, and I'd love to be friends. Just like a weird combo, but this. I should have drank that after I ate the last bite. And lucky for me, bone broth is not only one of her go-to morning drinks, she sips on it throughout the entire day. Yummy. This is not good. In addition to all those other yummy drinks, she also drinks coffee all the time, so at this point I'm just missing my water. On to lunch, Kylie says she refuses to eat the same thing every day, but one of her favorites is the giant health nut salad, and let me just say, shredded cheese and the dressing put together, very life-changing. The salad looks really good. Cool. Mm -hmm. The dressing is really good. Yes. Bone. Okay. Isn't that good? That was good. That was really good. Mm. That was really good. Sushi night. How do I do it? Like this? She is a sushi addict, and I mean, aren't we all? But yeah, today I found that I'm not the most talented sushi maker or roller, but I really did try. <laughs> Maybe I put too much filling. Okay, this one will just be a jumbo one. They kind of look ugly, but they will be delicious. And the night off, Kylie said she's always favorite snacks, which you know just brings me happiness. No celery sticks or rice cakes or low calorie desserts, which is totally fine and can be good for you, but this is also totally fine and can be good for you too. Remember that. Mr. Elon Musk. He's a very hot topic in the Sun family. My father is obsessed with this man. Elon Musk is known to be the biggest workaholic out there. I mean, he must be because he's now the richest person in the entire world as of today, and he's the CEO of too many things. He works 90 hours a week, which means he spends his entire day and life and existence working, but with his busy schedule, he's a hater of the gym. He said he actually prefers not to exercise, and if he could, he wouldn't at all. I feel like the majority of the population feels that way as well, but when he does get the chance to work out, he spends a little portion of his billions of dollars to hire a personal trainer and just does some weight training. <laughs> Musk's diet almost resembles a broke college student living at home. He typically just skips breakfast and grabs a Mars bar to go. Today we're eating like Elon Musk. He drinks three cups of coffee and three Diet Cokes. It's still not good. I like to use my illusion, imagine the night with the one who got away. Little lady, where do you lay? Ooh. Always still alive. Mr. Musk seriously doesn't care what he eats and just eats whatever his assistant brings him and he'll inhale it in like five minutes. And because I'm not cool or rich or important enough to have an assistant, I just ate whatever I was served. And today, that was this beautiful, beautiful meal. Oh my god, I know I don't. Okay. I'm gonna have to like handle the fizz. Whoa. Whoa. This is so good. No. How do you swallow it? Making that face. I like the yellow mug. <laughs> I used to buy me three large black coffees from Tim Horton every time I had like a school project in elementary school. It's <laughs> 
The amount of caffeine I've ingested today is concerning, but I mean, he does work more than he lives, so it's understandable, and this is apparently after him trying to cut down on caffeine. Elon has Mars bar, so I'm gonna have a Bilt bar, because they're basically the same thing. She cooked the peanut butter one, because Mars bars have peanuts in it. Wait, oh. do they? How do they do? No, they Wait, don't. They have caramel. Okay. It smells so ridiculous. That's better than a Mars bar. <laughs> oh, good. Mr. Muskie eats French cuisine. I don't know how to make French cuisine, so we're gonna make French fries. French fries. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes. Denny's? Impeccable. Psycho. Coffee. Excited. Ooh. That's good. Sometimes we have to value convenience over the healthiest option. I think that when it comes to our diets, we have to learn to forgive and let loose sometimes because life happens, it happens every day. We don't and can't plan for things and sometimes we have to eat a Mars bar for breakfast and don't have time to spend 20 minutes making baked oats. It's the best cereal in the entire world. These more sugary or chocolatey or less nutritious foods that we eat don't define our health. It's the sum of all the actions you make over your life that define your health. It's your mindset and your passions and your happiness. And while drinking three Diet Cokes and eating two bowls of Cinnamon Toast Crunch may not be recommended by a nutritionist as the perfect diet, that's just life. And life deserves to be filled with as much Cinnamon Toast Crunch as you desire. The fourth wealthiest person on the planet, the co-founder of Microsoft, another Diet Coke lover, Mr. Bill Gates. He says while he's freaking loaded and can literally buy anything he wants, he can't buy more time. So he literally plans out his day to the minute. Bill says setting aside a specific amount of time to get a particular task done keeps you from distractions and heightens productivity. As a 65 year old, he still spends an hour every morning running on the treadmill. Studies show that waking up early to exercise also enhances personal discipline and can make you more productive overall. You know, this productivity obsession he has, I totally understand, but sometimes it's necessary to live life off the clock and enjoy each moment as a moment and not as a minute. For breakfast, it's kind of funny that one of the oldest and most successful men on the billionaires list starts his day off with a breakfast of Cocoa Puffs. A true billionaire's breakfast. I don't think we have Cocoa Puffs in Canada. We have Cheerios, chocolate, and peanut butter. I'm very excited. Yep. Let's see what Reese's Cup cereal farm. You like the peanut butter? There's chocolate in it. Sour baby. You know, I'm really seeing a Diet Coke trend here among billionaires. He loves Diet Coke so much he drinks three to four a day, and I mean, it's working for him, so. It's growing on me. It's also well known that if you're gonna eat lunch with Bill, you're going to McDonald's and having cheeseburgers. Hi, can I just get a Happy Meal with a cheeseburger? Thank you. Cheeseburger Happy Meal? They didn't take me when I applied here. <laughs> Tim Hortons didn't take me either. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Yes! Ooh. I swear, Happy Meals had apples. Burger, a yogurt stick. This is weird. Ooh, look at my toy! Uh -huh. Cheeseburgers are like my least favorite Happy Meal. Ooh, this looks kind of cute. Look how smooth this burger looks. Looking back at this strange week of eating, the thing I loved most was how all of these people are normal people. I mean, really rich normal people. It's not like when I eat like fitness influencers. It's refreshing to see a lifestyle where exercise and food aren't the main priority or the main topic of discussion and how aesthetic you look isn't the biggest problem. And their lifestyles aren't revolved around fitness, but their fitness is part of their lifestyle. And that's a really valuable perspective. They gave me tips on how to live life fully, not just how to change my body. Tips on how to be productive and happy, not just about the foods that will make me less bloated. I learned that rich people really like Diet Coke, and while they may have assistants and personal chefs, they don't eat that differently from all of us. Actually kind of good now. And this week reminded me that sometimes we forget that there is more to life than just food in our body size. Success is defined by more than your goal weight, and that food is meant to do much more than just make our bodies look a certain way. Our bodies are our home, our vehicles, our health, something we can't put a price to. The biggest thing I took away from this week was, you know, I love money, but I realized I love you guys so much.